I think I'm losing my mind Trying to stay inside the lines It's like y'all want it in place Hey, I'm on vacation Every single day Cause I love my occupation Hey, hey, hey I'm on vacation If you don't like your life Then you should go and change it Hey, hey I'm on vacation every single day Cause I love my occupation Hey, hey, hey Tonight I'm gonna show you all I'm gonna walk it with you I watch the whole room change Baby, that's what you do No, my baby, don't play Blame it on my confidence I'm blaming all your measurements Shut the shit down on sight So it's time for me to seal this project. This is one of the ones I painted with Summer Grace by House and Canvas. And now I'm going to be using the House and Canvas Clear Wax Top Coat in Ultra Matte and the House and Canvas Brush. This is my first time using this top coat, so we'll see. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Um, I just put on a really light coat and then I'll go back and wipe away any excess wax that was left on here. And after an hour, I can go in and buff it out if I want it to have a sheen and it'll be fully cured in oval with house and canvas paint in champagne. Um, I have shellacked this because I plan to distress it so I want the wood to show through. So here I go. Good morning guys. I am getting my first coat of paint on this secretary desk. It already looks so much better in white um, and it's been a while since I brushed anything on so it's nice to get a paintbrush in my hand. I'm using one of my favorites, Country Chic Paint. One half Okay, first coat of linen is done and drying nicely. It is a thicker paint, but it painted really nice and it covered well for the first coat. You can see a little bit of the primer coming through, which obviously is normal, so it'll require a second. We'll see. I ordered hardware specifically for this dresser, and I don't know if it's going to get here this week, unfortunately. So I was hoping to have it completely finished, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But I will do, like I said, a coat and I might even do a third. We'll see um, what it looks like after the second. I do have a lot of paint, so if it needs a third, that's not a big deal. The color is really nice. I'm really liking it. And I'm gonna let this dry, maybe get a second coat tonight, and maybe a third coat, and then I'll probably top coat it or do a wax. Um, and then it'll deepen this color just slightly, uh, not too much. But the color, I'm really liking it. I'm happy with this realize how much paint you have until you start organizing and cleaning your shelf so this whole shelf here holds all my paint um hello house and canvas i am trying you for the first time and i got three cans of paint because i am so excited and then i stopped keeping track of my steps but the third color paint was shadow which is house and canvas black color i painted that on pretty much the same way and then i used a mister bottle and i sprayed the whole thing with water very lightly I just took my brush and went over it and just kind of worked the water in, which pulled up a little bit more of the paint in certain places. Um, and this is the result that I got. If I didn't like how dark it was, I could go back now and add a little bit more white, but I like I can still see like some of the white coming through and some of the wood coming through in places. So this was a fun little project. It's not, the mirror's not in like the best condition. There's like a good bit of aging in there, but it's more of just like one of those nice things to hang on a wall. So I think a lot of these colors will pop a little bit more when I wax it. And then I'll try and share a picture. This is actually Champagne by House and Canvas. Um, I have two wallpaper choices for the inside of this armoire. And um, they both have creamy white. So this was my choice. Working with Angora from House and Canvas today for this beautiful antique dresser that's going into a nursery. So here is my little secretary desk I'm working on. I've done two coats, brushed it on. Um, after the first coat, there was a ton of bleed through, so I did another, a third coat of shellac. Um, so hopefully that does the trick. It looks good right now. Um, I might spray. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. I have a kid-free morning here, so I am trying to bust out some work. 
I've gotten one coat of paint on this buffet. It's um, Underground, again, by House and Canvas. I love this color. Um, I will branch out soon, I promise. Here it is. It is the most perfect, olivey, earthy. I love it. I can't wait to get it on my piece. It's going to look so good. Here's a little sneak peek at the color I'm using for the next piece. Oh, this is so pretty. It's a really rich olivey green um, from House and Canvas, and I've had this for probably, oh, I don't even know, months. Just dying for the piece to use it on, and now I'm doing it. I just wanted to share that. Um, so I'll probably get another big project, or maybe two smaller ones, out of this one quart. I'm just cleaning up my sprayer after doing my third coat on my buffet. Um, probably didn't even need to do a third coat, but there were you know, angles that I couldn't get at before, so it, I tipped it on its back to get everywhere and ended up just doing a third coat all over. Um, I just want to show you how much of this I used. I'll put a picture here to remind you of how big the buffet is too, and it's totally painted, no wood top or anything. Um, but this is a quart, and I probably used like half, if not a little less, so. Okay, I am wrapping up this little two drawer console table. I painted this in shadow from House and Canvas, which is their black color. And then I have two coats of the Varathane water-based poly on this. I'm going to do a third coat.